the veneer has arrived. So let's get that. Let's have a little look, eh? I've not seen what it's... I've not seen what it's like yet, so... There we go. <laughs> it looks really good. But what I'll do is I'll I'll cut this down so you can have a have a better look. Because right now the I think I don't think the light is all oh that's better. So unfortunately, I couldn't get the American oak. Along with the chain locker bulkhead, I decided that the wooden trim that surrounds the V-berth could do with being veneered too. So I removed these along with the chain locker bulkhead. But unfortunately, once I removed the chain locker bulkhead, obviously in that wet environment over the years, it, it is a little bit discoloured and, and possibly water damaged. And now I'm... I'm thinking maybe it's best just to replace the entire piece of ply. So this is the oak veneer. Unfortunately, I had to go for European white oak, which is slightly darker than American white oak and slightly wavier. Although it's, this seems to be quite straight grain. I don't know if you can tell. I think you can tell. That's a lot lighter than that. So then these are two sheets. And and usually they, they come off in sequence. So, I mean, over, over a long... If I bought ten, the first one might not match the last one. But when you get two, from what I understand, you, they, they should match. They should be in sequence. That one should lead on to that one. And then that one should lead on to the next one. So I'm not... too impressed I mean it because it's quite straight grain it looks like it could match up but if you step back and look at the look at it as a whole y you can tell like the pattern that repeats itself here isn't there it isn't up there either so it's not like it's upside down and the pattern there isn't either here and again the patterns here don't repeat themselves. So I'm going to talk to the company and, and ask why they're not in sequence because what originally I was going to mask these together and then lay it out and use them side by side. And that's how I, I figured out that this would be enough to do the panels for the V-Birth. But now I don't know. Possibly once it's got the epoxy on and got the varnish on, you're not going to notice the subtle change in tone. But what I'm thinking of possibly doing is cutting the middle and then having two of the same to do each panel. So I'm hoping by having different colours or different tones on different panels, it won't be as drastic visually as having the, the, the centre line being lighter and darker on the same panel.
So b before I put the veneer on, I want to try and fill in some of the the little gaps, the little chips. Just fill them in, smooth them off, just so the veneer goes on a little bit better. So here, just all the edge, just, it'll just give it a cleaner edge. And it was getting late, so I decided I'll leave it last night and then do it again in the morning. But I came in and this this veneer it wants to roll up but it hasn't and then that that was on the floor so I, had a little, I picked it up straight away and had a little bit of oil on my hand beard oil so I'm hoping you won't see those but I, I don't know why this has done this I wouldn't say it was humid in here. Maybe, maybe it was. I don't know. But yeah. So next time I'm doing veneering, I keep it in the box until it's time to do the veneering. So don't laugh, but the only way I'm able to to flatten that veneer out again is to weigh it down. I tried at first just to use mugs, but they weren't heavy enough, so so I just had to find the heaviest things I could get. And this this is this is it. Okay, so I, I did slide it round to try and get as much on here as I could, but I've realised to have a lot more hanging off the edge there and that way I'm able to keep the grain running straight up which I think it'll look a lot better rather than the grain being at a slight angle so I'll cut this out and then see how it sticks Next, I mixed up the marine filler. Now this marine filler is what I'm going to use instead of wood filler, just to fill in those little nicks in the ply that were left when the jigsaw cut through. I had to use a spoon for the mixing and then I actually applied it with a butter knife just because I didn't have any tools that were quite suitable for the job. But I'm going to release this video today and then I'll release a second video with the actual veneering tomorrow just because it's bonfire night tonight and it's a very very busy weekend for me so I'll release another video tomorrow detailing the actual veneering <laughs> 